Alright, this is going to be a little uh, overview, I guess, or a review. Uh, I'm not going to call it a review. I've only had it for since Friday. But uh, anyway, this is my dog's new collar. It's from... Let's see if we can get it to focus on this. Fightandflight.com It is the... And I'm probably saying this wrong. Prioxis collar. In fact, I know I'm saying that wrong. It's P R O I O X I S, I believe. Anyway, that's probably wrong, but oh well. I got the Cryptic Camo model version. Has a ring built into it. I forget what they're called. I have a wilderness tactical belt with the same thing. <clears throat> Comes with a spot of uh, Velcro for any kind of patches or tags you want to put on there. I haven't. Look at him. I haven't put anything on here. I have a uh, last name name tape. I haven't put it on there. Uh, it comes with a Cobra buckle. And I want to say this one is one and three quarter. I could be wrong. This is the same exact size I have on my, uh, I think it's an original SOE belt. Same exact size. It's the large one. And that's how it uh, fastens. Just like that tactical belt. Slide it in. Loop it over. Well, it's exactly like some of them. Put it that way. F3 belts. Uh, original SOE, a wilderness, and a, uh, what is my third one? Volon gear atlas belt that was kind of doubles over like this anyway uh, I have his tags on here it's got a, also a little oval ring here for your tags I guess I didn't like how they jingled around and when we're me and Bo we ride bike together and he uh, is tethered and these jingle a lot and other dogs bark at him through the fences I've noticed that if you tape them down or put them hold them down they don't make nearly as much noise and he doesn't get barked at and a lot less distraction for everybody involved. It's adjustable. I want to say this is the large from 18 to, I forget what, 20 something inches. Uh, the medium is actually small in my opinion because this is the second one I had. The original one I had to send back. It was a medium because he's only a 58 pound dog, 57 pound dog. I would have thought a medium would fit him, but I guess I didn't. It was my fault really. But I sent it back in, they exchanged it for a large, and this is the large. Uh, they're about $59, I think. $59, $60. It takes him about two weeks to make one. I want to say. But uh, it's a scuba webbing with a three stitch. I don't know if you can see it in there. Three stitch arrangement. Two ply. With an outer layer of uh, nylon. This nylon, uh, I don't know what you would call it, another layer of webbing. But uh, yeah, that's about it. That's Bo, that's my dog. He's an adoption from here in Collin County. Best dog I've ever owned. Uh, yeah, there's not much else to it. He sells also leashes, braided leashes with nylon, and they come with a pretty cool little connector. I don't have it with me right now, otherwise, I'd show you. It's a uh, Kong Frog connector pretty neat hooks on there real big. it's a uh, self connecting or self clasping it's pretty cool I might show it in another video but uh yeah this isn't just inner tube that I threaded on there or if you want to get all tactical it's ranger band but no it's not it's just an inner tube keeps it quiet neat and simple it's really about it cryptic camo looks pretty cool keeps it from looking too tactical Anyway, there's a the tag again. Fightandflight.com. Bo, say goodbye. <laughs> Take it easy.